Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mira and today we're gonna be talking about five different huntsmen and deciding which one is the best for beginners. I've kept around eight different species of huntsmen, but all of these that I'm gonna be talking about are some that I actually raised from tiny slings, sometimes hatchlings, and some of them I even bred. We're gonna talk about four different categories. One of them is gonna be care, one of them is gonna be availability, one of them is gonna be display, and the last one's gonna be behavior. So number five on my list is gonna be sadly heteropoda David Bowie and sadly because that's one of my favorite spiders. One big reason why it's number five is because they have a high death rate as babies and I've heard it from so many people and I didn't initially believe it because I had really good luck with mine. I raised mine from tiny slings to adults and then I was able to get them mates and breed them but once I bred them and I had those babies first hundred did well and then maybe once I had last 60 left from one exec maybe 30 of them died for no apparent reason and I was like wow. So since then I actually decided if I'm gonna be selling them, I'm gonna be selling them once they get a little bit bigger as well. So that is a big problem with their care. Other than that, they require high humidity and, you know, flying bugs are the best for them, but they'll take crickets, they'll take roaches, anything you basically feed them. As far as heteropoda David Bowie availability goes, they are fairly available, but that being said, none of the huntsmen are gonna be as available as, let's say, GBB or Avicularias, you know, they're not as common in a hobby, so if you have a chance to get your hands on some, do it. So heteropoda David Bowie is on display pretty often every night they come out and even during the day they're not that great at hiding actually so very often I actually can spot them and see them so definitely that's thumbs up as far as their behavior they're skittish like all of the huntsmen they won't even let me tongue feed them I only had one successful tongue feeding and that's about it yeah skittish basically just like most huntsmen and that's uh, because of the death rate because of uh, their behavior uh, they are gonna be number five For number four right after heteropoda David Bowie is heteropoda lonua these spiders are beautiful but for same reasons they have a high death rate for me again I got lucky my first sling grew into beautiful male and I sent it out for a loan for breeding my second one is growing nicely but I keep hearing that they die when it comes to their care they also require high humidity and basically very similar care to heteropoda David Bowie their behavior is even more skittish they hide all the time they hate light every time I point light at them they just disappear when it comes to their availability probably less available than Heteropoda David Bowie. Now thinking of that, I could switch those two. It could be Heteropoda David Luna, Heteropoda David Luna, Heteropoda David Bowie at number four and Heteropoda Luna at number five. So you decide. These are two really close to each other. Basically not good species for beginners. And number three is gonna be Cerbalus Huntsman and these are Desert Huntsman. Their care is pretty unique so they require about four to five inches of uh, sand and they also require a little arboreal space because they like to borrow in the sand and they create like a hideout in it another full trap door at least mine doesn't have it they just kind of like web it up when they molt in there and they don't want to be bothered but when they decide to come out which is not very often they like to hang out on the top and they like to climb up kind of like arboreal spiders very secretive spider about their availability they become a little bit more available in the hobby more available actually lately than heteropoda lunula i already touched a little bit about their display you don't see them almost ever they're always hiding it's a party time at spider cafe when we actually see ours out but they are really hardy and they're easier to care for than a heteropoda lunula or heteropoda david bowie but i would also probably don't recommend this one for beginner just because you're not gonna see your spider very often number two barilastis variadus so let's not confuse this one with barilastis scutatus which is its bigger cousin these guys their care couldn't be easier they only require light misting as slings as it all they have a shallow water dish in there and basically the rest of it can be dry they don't grow very big so they only grow around two inches so I keep them in one of these usually one of these little condos and that's plenty for them for their whole life availability they're not often available so if you get a chance to get uh, your hands on Parilastis variadus do it they are also really beautiful they kind of look and that takes me to display they kind of look like a snow leopard to me I really like them display I don't really see them very often but they are not as secretive as Cerbalus for example as far as their behavior they are pretty skittish but I was able to tongue feed them a bunch of times and I think as long as you are gentle and slow with them they won't run and they won't do anything too crazy I never had one escape did I oh, only as a sling oh as a slings they are escape artists they almost always run out so I take it back so they can be a little skittish as slings 
number one for my beginner friend a huntsman list is gonna be whole Connie a huntsman from Australia and there are so many reasons for that let's start with care their care is super easy they like it mostly dry and they just need basically cork bar something to climb on and that's it they don't need really much else the availability is the only downside to these spiders because I don't see them very often I know somebody up north in California who's got four of them I have one and we're gonna try to do a little exchange and breed some of them so fingers crossed for that these guys are almost always on display they are so easy going I see them even during the day sometimes just hanging out these are really easy going spiders especially for huntsmen I have never seen any signs of aggression actually from any of my huntsmen or defense any of my huntsmen usually they go for a run but this one just looks like it just kind of gets grumpy and just kind of like moves around moves on the other side of a cork bark if I'm doing anything and that's about it it also lets me regularly tongue feed her I'm hoping it's her and it would even jump for the food and stuff so it's really awesome so this is why Holconia is my number one huntsman for beginners all right guys I hope you enjoy my list if you did hit the like button notifications button and subscribe button if you know this my head go check us out at spidercafe.shop you can support us that way by getting some of our merchandise we have a line there with spiders in famous movies and it's kind of fun replacing Brad Pitt with heteropoda David Bobby for example <laughs> all right I'll see you soon ciao